Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here. And today we are going to paint a cute Rudolf. Have a preview of him here. I actually love this connection and those cute bubbles. I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial with me. And if you do, let me know in the comments below as I'm looking forward to reading them all. Let's start. Okay, time for a cute reindeer. So we are going to use 219 as a background. I thought like, I don't know, I like this color, like those pastel look for the uh, winter months. And it looks absolutely amazing. We are going to paint nice and thin layer. And then cook it. Just the same. So all three tips are going to be the same background. So you would paint a client nails all the same and then in a ring finger and a middle finger, you will create the design and the index finger. So we are, as you have noticed it guys, like we are trying to produce like as many videos as possible and doing them almost every day. My hands are a bit better. The right hand is absolutely fantastic, like no issues at all. The index finger almost there and the thumb almost there as well. I'm really trying to save it as much as possible and I'm not squeezing my hands as much. But first tip should be cooked. I'm terrible sometimes for undercooking my um, designs because we record everything live. Like, um, you know, we, we don't do many cuts in the videos. So I'm just doing it as it goes. And I have no clue what we are going to paint on some of the tips as well. <laughs> because that was a question you guys ask me as well quite a lot. Do I plan it or... So usually I kind of do a first part and then I can see it if I like it or if I want to change something, if I want to add something, that's how the designs are born. I've, get, I've got kind of main idea, don't get me wrong. Uh, so I know we are going to paint the rain there, not a Santa today, but it's a kind of on the go. I could probably push this color to be a one layer, but because I'm under curing the, uh, the coats, uh, that would be quite risky. Okay, so they are cooking. Let's prepare our mixtures. Uh, I'm going to need a drop of 225. I have never used in my life so much of the brown color like I did this year. It's unbelievable, but this is a perfect brown. Uh, and then we are going to use 215. I think it will be a nice shade for the reindeer. I should do the cookies like a gingerbread kind of style design for you as well. Uh, if you want, yeah, cameraman is shouting, yeah, I want to see it. Okay, okay, we will, we will please the cameraman. So maybe we could do it in the next, next video or so. Okay, let's start painting those cute reindeer. So first of all, he has a decent neck. Okay, so that's his neck. And then he has huge nose. Like an absolutely huge one. Color it in. And you guys know that I am in love with the watercolor brush for Christmas time. It's unbelievable like how 
how quick you can paint the designs. Then we are going to paint the next part. And I'm also loving to break the things into a simple shapes because then it's much easier. So you can see we've got like a wee line, <laughs> then we've got a rounded shape and then we've got another rounded shape on the top. So much easier if you break it. It looks like a Dino. Can you see the eyes in here? <laughs> Dino reindeer. That's a prehistoric uh, reindeer. Yeah, there we are. Okay, let's paint some ears. Again, I'm painting it with this brush. And look what a beautiful shape it did create, like those lines inside. I'm not going to even uh, trying to um, fix it. And then another ear. And I'm going to miss a drop of this ear uh, on the second tip. Uh, I think it will be really nice if we do that. Let's make his nose bigger. That's great. We can cook him. And before I do that, I will just quickly grab this tip. Ideally, you should remove them. What I did, I have touched it so I could paint the second ear. There we are. So he, he's cooking and I can start painting the design part on this bit. And this is going to be the dark brown. And we are going to paint those antlers. So I've got one, two, three. That's already look cool. Let's swap to D-liner brush. And we are going to use some, no, not glitter. Let's cook it. I've got different idea. I love my ideas. I like White this. And White and sprinkle. No, I, I think I want to do some Christmas bubble. Okay, the top, but uh, on the bottom, but on the top. Sprinkle, sprinkle should uh, do a snow. snow. Yes, we will do the snow, cameraman. Okay, but you know what I'm searching for? I'm searching for those beautiful um, gold, gold rounded shapes. Ah, they are somewhere there. Yeah, they are there, camera. They are there, 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 they are there. <laughs> oh gosh, this is going to be challenging. I hope we don't break our construction here. Oh, yes, you are fantastic. So I need a drop of the base gel. Thank you. You are amazing. You are, that's enough, that's plenty. I've got everything what I need. You have pleased me. <laughs> okay, so we could do a few Christmas bubbles. I'm going to uh, grab those base gel. And we've got some bubble in here. Bubble in there. Maybe not a few, and one in there, like a tiny one. So, rounded shape. One bubble, and the second bubble is going to be tiny. That's not the one, that's the one. Sorry, cameraman. <laughs> I'm just running away from you. No chance. No chance to catch. No, not a chance. Should be three bubbles, but we'll do two. I'm actually loving it already. And this is just a start of the fun. Yes, I'm searching for caviar beads. I'm terrible today. 
Because you're not planning. Because I'm not planning, yeah, I know. And if I would plan, if I would plan, then I would have everything what I need. It's okay, cameraman, I will do the silver ones. If I can find them. Oh gosh, it's terrible, we should cut this video now. No, let's forget about it, let's cook it and I will uh, get some different idea. I will get some different idea. If you cannot play with... There we are. No, they're too big. Ideally, I would love the... There we are, look! That's how the pretty things are born. Do you like that? Yes, it's different. Okay, let's freeze it and maybe eventually I will find the caviar bits and go back to our reindeer. So we have to paint his nose. And we are going to use the same brown color and paint his beautiful nose. inside his ears and we have to paint the finishing of the anthers so the other one I will need the tip which I've got in there so I've got one in there this one is going to run into the third tip Okay, so the, uh, this one is here, just so it's not flying in the air. Perfect, and then I need the third tip. Ideally, guys, you, what you could do it is you could uh, use even, um, I don't know, the, the spatula and paste three tips in there and then it's so easy to paint it. I'm just going to improvise and measure the things by the eye. So I've got a tiny bit in here. And another one like that. Perfect. Let's freeze this one. Cook this one. Finish our Christmas bubbles. So for the Christmas bubbles, I'm going to go, since we've got the purple in here, I'm going to grab some nice purple glitter. And the one I like for this design is this one. I think it's the most similar, or actually I could do it in... But the red is nice too. Which one is nice? Red. Red. No, um, I no, I don't want to have a red. No, cameraman. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to please you anymore. Okay, so drop of the base gel, pick it up. I'm find something. You find something. Silver ones. No, they don't go. That's a wrong color. Christmas bubble number one. This one is just a flying one. And then inside a snowflake, of course. So you was looking for the gold one? Yes, I was looking for a gold okay, one. So I see them oh, the you are a star. Snowflake. Caviar beads. To finish it off. This is going to be actually amazing design, guys. So I've got here and one more. I love it already. Let's cook it. Just a single one in here. 
just so we don't overdo the things, you know. And those metal studs will stay on no trouble at all. And the shape I want to go for will be different. I love playing with different things. Perfect, let's freeze it before it runs. Then this one is ready to be top coated, guys. Oh no, it's not. Let's add the detail in the ear. I will add the snow, don't you worry. Yes, after the top coat. Because otherwise it will be everywhere. See, he's learning. Do, do you look more like 3D? Yes, it's, it's fantastic. It is. No, we need to also add some clear gel. Cameraman, next time I think we we, we need you to, to do some design on the camera as well. Why not? You are getting good at it. You are a recorder. I could record. Drop of the clear gel. And another drop of the clear gel. I had to swap the brush because the other one was contaminated with the gel polish. Cook it. Okay, then reindeer again, part two. So we need to paint his eyes and we need to outline the entire design. So my brush got cooked. And a lamp. And I need to soften it because it become too hard and too stiff. For the hardest part. So I'm just outlining everything. Hardly any product in. And I have choose this brown because I think it's uh, Really, really nice one. We can make the neck thicker. I can see it now. And I have picked up the product with the same color of the brush, so I can straight away make some shadow there. Now wasting my time using the D-liner brush because we should swap for what? Watercolor brush. See how much cleaner it is. Fantastic. Better blended. Better, absolutely. See, sometimes if we've got wrong brush, we cannot do nice things. So my life like become, as I say, so much easier. Add a shadow there. Now the eyes part, so I want some shadow here. He already looks absolutely amazing. And then shadow where the eyebrows are going to be. Outline. Oh, 
I love him. Do you hear that? I find new love. <laughs> I will swap you for the reindeer. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't swap you for anything. And then straight away I'm going to do those eyebrow. And we can kick him. Oh my goodness, I love him already. He is amazing. Okay. This one, we need to finish this. And those antler, so it doesn't look as unfinished. Perfect. Let me grab those brushes away from the lamp. Bubble. Color it in. Slap some glitter inside on the bottom. Pick up the snowflake. And then, no, not freeze it. I'm missing something there. Cameraman show me some different caviar beads. Okay, now I need to clean it because if I don't clean it, can you see the disaster happening? I've got too much stuff. So I've got two, three. Oh, I should do the bow from two triangle triangles or <gasps> no love heart shape love love shape sorry <clears throat> Shh. love you too there we are see so that's how the designs are born We've got one and we've got second one and we've got cute bow. Oh, come on. Okay, I need to clean my dotting tool so it doesn't contain any base, any gels. No, bow, stay there. I love this bow. This is too big now. So we are going to place just a medium ones. No, I should... Uh, no, it's too much. Too much, yeah. Cute. Thank you, cameraman. Okay. Oh yes, I need to put it, but because I just put the snowflake, if I don't freeze it, it will make it more difficult for me to leave this gel inside. Of course. Yes, of course. Okay, so clear gel. And now it will be very easy to leave it the way, the, the place where it should be. Mm -hmm. So otherwise I would move the snowflake, I would move the glitter. So we always need to freeze it a little bit. Okay, raise it a little bit higher up and then we can just add the eyes and, and we can top coat it, the design move into the next part. So the eyes we are going to use the white, white French gel. And let's paint those eyes. Sorry, I can't talk with this part.
add some detail there. And now I'm going to freeze him. Top coat the other two tips because they are almost ready. So top coat in. I don't think, I mean, it is quite time consuming, but we have created really beautiful design. Cook it in. And I'm always top coating the metal parts. Like you can also see it, I'm almost splitting my brush. So it goes around those bits. Check it if I'm not missing anything. Finish off the eye detail. So black, I love him. I do really love him so much. Okay, one, two, painting eyes, oh, painting eyes with the um, gel polish could result in a polish wrinkling, that's why I prefer those paint on gels. Now black, and he has a cheeky smile. Then brown. Just go. Oh my goodness, I have made a mess. Just go around it. And the reason for it was I was too lazy to clean my brush and I had far too much product in. Can you see the difference now, guys? So if you've got too much product, you're not able to do a nice job. Now I have to make this eye so ugly too. Freeze it and then I will add, um, I will fix this mistake with the white. The next step is the paint on French gel. No, this one was second. There we are. So paint on French gel. And we are going to add some snowy bits and pieces. Wow. Sugar. Okay, let's go back to our cute reindeer and fix it. So white, the tiniest amount of the white, hold the breath. Yay, that's it fixed. Sparkle. He's awesome. Okay, let's uh, maybe outline the nose. A little. No, don't outline the nose. Um, yes, snow. outline. Yes, snow. Of course, I promise you we will do the snow. I will do the snow for you. So I've got black mixed with the brown. And I'm going just to define the nose a little bit more. And then cook it. Snow on the other one. <clears throat> so clean my brush again and place lots of snow.
you can see it. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just wiggling really, uh, wiggling my brush to create the snow. Sprinkle it. Top coat are reindeer, and then I can show you all the three designs which we have created today. I love him. I know I do repeat myself, but he is unbelievably cute. Okay, so we can close the products which we don't need. No, this one was this one was first. No, this one. Yes, <laughs> I'm getting closed. Okay, let me just clean this mess so I don't make a disaster. I don't need this top coat, I just need a drop of light and my mixing palette. There we are, nice and clean. Dust brush so we can remove the excess of it and this ear was going here. Now let's see if we manage to kind of uh, get it all together. Let's paint the snow on him. So a decent amount of the snow on top of the head, maybe a little bit in here as well, just a tiny bit, and then sprinkle it. Cook it. Grab my brushes away from the light so they don't get damaged. And I hope you have really enjoyed this kit tutorial. So that's the second one. Just in there. Gosh, my hands are just so messy. And the reindeer. That's a Rudolph. Now I'm going to show you because my... Um, oh my goodness. Yay! He is awesome. That's what I... Oh my goodness. So awesome. Please, please share this for me. Also, one more question you'll probably ask me is because I've got sugar in there and I, obviously now painting, I have made a really huge mess of it. I will just show you how I clean it as well because uh, you will probably ask about it. I love him, I love him, I love him so much. So I just take a blue scrap, and you can see it, how dirty it was, and I will just uh, clean it with a blue scrap. See, it's much cleaner. Obviously, the longer time you spend on it, the nicer it is. And these needles are a few weeks old now, uh, so they look not bad. And that's a sugar as well. Exactly the same technique like we did it in here. But anyway, I'm sending you huge glittery hugs and bye for now.